Hi guys, welcome to another video. This week, we're going to show sharpening spears, but pencil point. Three years ago, at exactly the same bench here, we showed how to do a tri-cut spear. Today, we're gonna to show you how to repair that if you want into a pencil point. Some people find the tri-cut too difficult. Our normal spear points are all tri-cut. We don't do pencil point, but just for the sake of this video, we're going to trial it. If you have a damaged tip and you want to do it simply, then the best is to set up like this very simple. You need an angle grinder, you need a vise, you need a good G-clamp. It's all about getting the correct angle. In my case, I've set it up so that the angle of the disc relation to where it's being supported is roughly 60 degrees. You can go a little bit less, a little bit more. It's not an exact science. To stop the bar from getting in the way, tape it up, or in my case, I've just put an O-ring around it. This is an existing tri-cut. I'm just gonna go through the process of rotating it. So, I like to have the disc rotating in its direction. In this case, it's going anti-clockwise. I want to sharpen so the sparks are blowing away from me. I do have glasses on, although they're reading glasses. They're adequate, but preferably use proper safety glasses. So let's see how it goes. So that was really quick. When I rotate it, the tip is still in the right position. Right in the middle. If you grind slowly, that can be offset. I think this one is a little bit flat. Let's adjust the angle. I'm gonna steepen it up a little bit and do it again. Don't let it get hot. This is still nowhere near hot yet. So let's do a second go. So that's a good angle, plenty adequate, didn't get hot. You saw I rotated it quite fast, fast is good. So yeah, I have an off cut of spear for the demonstration, it's a blunt end. This will take a lot more grinding to get it sharp. Let's see how it goes. I have water to cool it down between grinds. Little bit more. As you can see, I'm rotating it quite fast. The faster you rotate it, the more uniform it's gonna be, the more likely that very tip is in the middle. If the joint between the straight edge and the angle has any undulating, I'm sure you've seen sharpened pencils in the past that's all set, that will make this tip one side or the other, that will make it inaccurate. If your spear has your line attached at the back, you're gonna to need to strap that up well so it doesn't interfere with your ability to rotate. It's that simple. Just to reiterate on the grinder, it's just a standard bench grinder. The backing disc is just a cutting disc, it's not the flexible rubber or plastic one. And in this application, we're only using 100 grit. Some guys like it to be a bit coarser, but you saw how quick that was with 100. You can go to 80 quite easily, maybe even get away with 60. It'll be a bit coarse, but it'll remove steel quickly. Don't forget to keep it cool. You shouldn't see any discoloration here. If it goes slightly brown, immediately put it in. But red, bad news. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next.